Hi Bruce from Safari and what we're looking at here is this is a J180 uh, mount alternator that you can see here that's the uh, J mount and you can see the uh, top mount here it pivots on the bottom everyone in the marine market will be familiar with it yes it is an old one that I've got here and it's a uh, 12 volt uh, the biggest we have in these is 250 amp which is uh, three kilowatts but at idle it may if you're lucky give you one kilowatt and what we're providing now in lieu of that is this unit here which is a bi-directional motor generator now we're not using the bi-directional feature in the marine market or not yet looks like an alternator it is ac out but it's, it can run as a motor or a generator in this case we're just running it as a generator and what's unique on it is it has an inverter on the back this unit here on the back has got a bunch of diodes in here. Uh, this is about, when it gets hot, maybe 60-70% efficient if you're lucky. This is 90% efficient inside the uh, generator part, and the inverter on the back is about 94% efficient. Um, the other feature on this is this is uh, totally isolated, so we've got a positive and a negative post on this. This one here has got two positives on it, and the frame is the negative. So in some applications, having the isolation is quite valuable. Uh, but now we come to the big difference, and this will produce 10 kilowatts. So this will produce three times, three and a half times more power than this unit. And for the smaller sailing boats, like the uh, less than 40 foot, where you can't really get solar on the top, and the, uh, this power is quite important, you want to charge the lithium batteries very, very quickly. So if we put, say, a 10 kilowatt hour uh, lithium battery bank in one of these sailing boats, this will fully charge it within an hour. So if you're motoring out of the harbour uh, for 45 minutes or an hour, your batteries are fully charged. And that's the benefit of it. It's the speed of charging. Of course, you've got to have good batteries, but, uh, uh, but we can uh, provide that as well. And that's our mount at the back. So that's J180 mount bi-directional motor generator, 10 kilowatts, and at idle, it'll do two kilowatts at idle. And it won't choke the engine on the 3JH or the 3MY, I think it is, the 30 horsepower. Uh, we control this to make sure that at no stage does it um, affect the performance of the engine, even if it's an old one. And there's a third player in this, and that's uh, Scotty AI. He's our uh, 1500. And it's got a third CAN port on it, and the third CAN port is what's driving this unit. So these two go together. You can't have one of these unless you have one of these. And it will drive this, and at the same time, do the 48 to 12, in this case, 1500 watts. So you can have 125 amps at 12 volts coming out of this. You can also do a bigger unit that's 24 volt to 48 if you wish. The harness goes in here. The... Uh, that's the on off button in here and the CAN interface is sitting below it. So you can see the NMEA interface below that and that goes straight onto the board here. And uh, this is also visible on uh, Victron and you would have seen in a previous video, these two here will appear in the new Victron display as an alternator with all the power running. I've got to say, how good's that? 